Hey everyone, Dave here. Welcome to Taskmaster Overview. This title was sitting at least one year in the coming soon section, which essentially means you don't even know when it's gonna release. I'm not familiar with the show at all, never heard of it, never saw any mention whatsoever. And with popular brand iterations, it can be very hit and miss whether you are familiar with what's going on or not. It all depends on the development involvement and how you introduce yourself to the newer audience. So Taskmaster is an adaptation of the hit TV series about completing various challenges given by the Taskmaster himself, getting some help from his assistant Alex Horn and become the series champion to receive the golden trophy. Putting aside my complete lack of knowledge about this thing at all. In short summary, the game suffers a lot in the technical department. If it's with the low frame rate, junky controls and just questionable physics across the board, the game introduces you to a certain ambience that is interesting to discover but not really to play with. There was probably a very good reason why it was sitting so long on the store, but I don't think it was for the reason of developing it further. Art style and graphics is an interesting part because in some environments it can be very fancy, detailed and intriguing, but on the other hand, at least in the first challenge, textures are bland and unpolished, and then in comparison, the actual character models look good, so there's just a lot of weird things going on. Most importantly, it's not fun to play, so I don't see myself getting down with it seriously, and I don't know who would be such a masterpiece to do so. <laughs> Overall, this is just purely catering to the fans of the show. Discover some cool trivia and deepen your knowledge about the series. Besides that, there's no place for this on the store and there are way better puzzle simulators that actually give you some entertainment. <laughs> Let's go meet the Taskmaster. Aha, you're here. Nice to meet you. Come closer and I'll take you through the basics. Do you have to be set in such low resolution? Where the hell am I? <laughs> also, I wouldn't know if it's not as smooth. There is sound effects, but no feedback, so... A bit weird. Welcome to Taskmaster. You will be taking on a series of extraordinary challenges. And after each one, Greg Davis, the eponymous Taskmaster, will give you a score out of five. I'm little Alex Horn, the Taskmaster's assistant. I'm here to advise and observe you. The Taskmaster will be ruthlessly scrutinizing your performance, so you should use everything at your disposal and think outside the box if you want to avoid his razor-sharp mockery. You were handed your Taskmaster survival guide on arrival. It's yours to keep and it lets you dictate your preferences. Press the menu button to take a look now. I mean, that's just customization and... Yeah, trivial stuff for now. Take your time, get everything just right and then move to the next room when you're ready. While we're waiting for the studio to be ready, let's do a practice task. You must not interact with anything other than the task card until you've had a proper read through and then dropped it. Otherwise, you might ruin my perfectly constructed designs. So pick up the task card, take your time reading it, and then drop it. When you drop it, the task starts. I feel like because of the stuttering or something similar to that, is the game running in lower than 72 frames? Because it seems like it. That's why everything is so jittery. Please drop the task card to start the task. And the red circles in front of their dressing room doors. Where are the cutouts? Oh. <laughs> okay, off you go. As this is just a practice task, 
I'm going to be fairly generous with the timer. 59 minutes ought to do it. You can also check remaining task time on your wristwatch to save any unnecessary wear and tear on the old sternocleidomastoid. Just to be clear, by red circle, we're referring to the marked area on the ground. <laughs> it's hardly specific. Do we have like a tunic adjustment? Yeah, that feels better. Is he that tall? That seems extreme. <laughs> How do I finish it? Don't look at me like that. Oh, here, Jesus Christ. <laughs> what the? I didn't expect this to be a physics game. Practice task complete. Well done. Okay, they're ready for you in the studio right now. Press the buzzer on the plinth to open the door. Then make your way through. If a task has a buzzer, you can press it to end the task early. <coughs> Welcome to the corkboard quarters. This is where you can choose which activity you want to embark upon. But no time to lose now. We've got a show to get on with. You'll be back here later. Make your way into the studio. I will request the taskmaster's presence and we'll meet you there. Wow, it's so fancy. I'm Greg Davis. Welcome to Taskmaster, where tasks must be completed, otherwise I get very grumpy indeed. And you're the one charged with jumping through hoops on my behalf. Points are available based on your performance, and nothing shy of a perfect score will allow you to fondle this, my resplendent metal face. And all the while, sitting to my left, is a man who will wipe away any sweat that might accrue on my magnificent brow. It's... A little Alex Horn! Thank you. I'm the Taskmaster's assistant. I will be present for all tasks, taking measurements and doing admin, scattergrams, pie charts, all the fun stuff. I also provide sparkling banter at the top of each episode. Do you want to do the banter now, Taskmaster, for the banter section? Do I want to? No, I do not. Are you sure? I've got some quality cheeky bants ready to whip out. <sighs> Go on, then. Well, you've already had it. That was, that was the banter, when I said cheeky bants, like a youth. Hilarious. Well done. Never talk again. <laughs> Enough nonsense talking. More tasks. And now a task where I get to be pampered for a change. Hello. Oh. Well? Guess it's my forte, kitchen. A sandwich using only a spatula. Wait. Is it gonna disappear? Because this is a lot of instructions. Huh. Okay. I need to localize the ingredients though. Do we have bread or stuff like that? I guess it's good to see where's what beforehand, right? Oh my god, the frame rate is very low. I don't see the bread. And not everything's interactable, like only selected things. Mm. 
Hmm. I think I will have. Is this gonna be a lettuce sandwich? It really depends on what they mean about a sandwich, like it can be anything. Why am I starting with this? So dumb. I mean, that doesn't make much sense. I just make lettuce, onion, lettuce. This is for sure like 60 FPS or something. I know if it will show up on the footage though. What the? Some questionable physics? Have a cleaning paper just in case. Well, if I will be able to pick it up, that would be nice. Oh, it needs to be with a plate on a plate? What is this show anyways? I don't need you here for your stupid ass commentary. I swear if that's not the solution. Now you're giving me a full on Oh my god 
Aha. Cool. Go in the hole. I mean, do I not see correctly? If this is what English people do for entertainment, then I have some bad news for you. Like, it's not going in. Eh? Jesus Christ. This is dumb as fuck. Like, I don't know who in the right mind would play this. It's clearly a masochistic game to struggle and have fun, but like, this is not my kind of entertainment. I could care about the brand, but let's talk about the technicalities first and foremost. There is low resolution going in the distance for the movable details like interactables. The environments themselves are okay-ish. Like, if you're introducing a physics game, make it the right way, because this is like a job simulator level of... It's kind of insulting to that as well. <laughs> Not everything is interactable, like they essentially pick and choose what you can do. Which is weird because the premise apparently is to have freedom of your decision making, but you are still following a script. Maybe because of the VR inexperience. I also feel like the frame rate is not correct for this experience. Like it should be battery smooth considering there's not that much going on. But instead when you move, it's stuttering and not really pleasant to play. There's a reason why this was postponed to Infinity because this title fits to a completely different platform like way earlier in the quest history. It's essentially relying on the fact that you should know this. If not, then there's no point in playing this at all. 